witch bottles, also known as spell bottles, were originally used for protection against witches, their spells, and evil spirits. First used in England in the 1600s, and then in the United States in the mid-1700s. Maybe they were used in other places, but I didn't come across anything that said they were. Witch bottles are considered to be folk magic or low magic. The bottles themselves were first made of salt glazed stoneware known as Bartman jugs, Bellarmines, or Greybeards. More modern witch bottles are made from a variety of materials, mostly glass. Inside would be one of these bodily things like fingernails, hair, blood, and urine. Also inside the bottle would be pins, nails, and needles. I will share a tale with you that I came across about a witch bottle from a book by Joseph Glanville named Evidence Concerning Witches and Apparitions. A married couple was visited by an old wise man. The wise man asked the husband how he and his wife were doing. I'm fine, but my wife has been tormented by a thing in the shape of a bird. Every time she lays down, this thing will repeatedly fly by her face, preventing her from sleeping. The wise man thought for a short time, then told the couple that this thing was a dead spirit. He also said to not fear, because he knew of a way to remedy this. He told the husband to get a bottle, pour his wife's yarn into it, and then put nails, needles, and pins into the bottle. Then he was to tightly cork the bottle and put it into the fireplace. After giving his instructions, the wise man smiled, said goodbye to the couple, and left. Later that night, the husband did as he was told, but shortly after placing the bottle on the fire, it started to move around a little. Alarmed, he took the fireplace shovel and placed it atop the cork to stop it from moving. But the husband noticed that the cork was being pushed up. The force from the cork was so great that the fireplace shovel was knocked off. He quickly replaced the shovel atop the witch's bottle. The cork was yet again being pushed up by some mysterious force. This time it was too much for the husband. The cork flew off making a sound like a pistol and the contents went all over the place. A short time later, the wise man visited the couple again, and as before, he asked how they were doing. The husband answered, I'm fine, but my wife is still being tormented. The wise man asked, did you do as I had instructed? Of course, but the cork flew off and the contents went everywhere. The wise man chuckled and said, it was too nimble for you. Don't worry, I'll tell you what to do next. Assemble the bottle as before, but this time bury it instead. The wise man said goodbye and left. The husband did as he was told, and his wife was finally able to sleep peacefully. Some time later, a woman from another town came to the couple's house and started screaming you killed my husband! The couple, very confused, answered, What do you mean? We don't know you or your husband. The strange woman yelled again, You killed my husband! He told me so on his deathbed. That's when the couple realized that her husband was a sorcerer, and he had put a spell on the wife. When the husband made the bottle a second time, and buried it, this had killed the sorcerer. Witches' bottles are still being found in England, 
but only eight have been found in the United States. The bottles have been found buried outside, buried underneath fireplaces, and behind walls. People are still making witches' bottles today, but not just for protection. Some are made for prosperity, love, and also to enhance physical and mental powers. Are you curious enough to make one? Do not forget to leave a like and subscribe if you have enjoyed this video. And if you already have, thank you very much. La, la.